Hi, this is Tobias. In this small tutorial, I will tell you how I generated my simple grass with the V-Ray displacement modifier. We'll start out with an empty scene and we'll grab a plane. The segments and length and width we leave it one. Next thing we we'll put up our material editor, grab a new V-Ray material and to get information about the color we want to put on the dis generated place displacement we go to the diffuse channel and collect our bitmap we want to use to provide the color information simply drag and drop the texture onto the plane and enable show map in viewport here close the material again now open up uh, the modifier tab and search for UV map in the modifier list here. Why UV mapping? UV mapping generates valid coordinates which the V-Ray displacement modifier actually needs to generate its geometry go and increase the tiling in U and V direction a bit to get a much more smooth and fine result on the texture here. Now open up the modifier list again and select the V-Ray displacement modifier here and the parameters roll out go for 2D mapping the common parameters will open up the texture map which provides our displacement information uh, come on okay here's the grass diffuse displacement jpeg please note that any displacement map should be big enough to provide a much more smooth result here for the geometry. Okay. The amount that you see that the that here is uh, geometry actually generated, I will put up to about five. The resolution to about two thousand forty-eight and the precision to about 16 or so. I think this is enough and should provide anything we want. Just zoom a bit in, rotate it a bit like this and simply click F9 for render. Okay, render now finished. After three minutes and six seconds, you can see the geometry being generated by the displacement modifier. This is not quite a nice example, but it was only generated to show you how you can generate grass. To get much more nicer grass. Just feel free to experiment with the settings here. You can set up okay. well this was it for now. I hope you enjoyed uh, this small tutorial. It was my first one and see you back on the forums.